When was the last time you were happy in life? Genuinely happy. I was my granddad was alive. My papa. How did he pass, if you don't mind me asking? Cancer. Was that the most impactful death in your life? It was, yeah, most definitely. I didn't lose people, but I lost people that's been a big impact to me, but my papa, like, he just, a lot of people, I know he stepped up as a father role while my daddy was gone. Even though me and my pops close as hell, like, he stepped up, you feel me? He stepped up the long way for me and my mom. And for stepping up for my mama, that's, like my mama is the main person I love, like, I love my mom. So and him, him dying, like, and I love him too. I was with him all the time, you feel me? I was getting dried out with him, just like any other kid. Go. We can get dried with your daddy, I was getting dried with my pop. I really love him. And this was your grandfather on your mother's side or your father's side? My mom. And uh, in a previous segment, you had mentioned that your father had done uh, a couple different bits. Yeah, for sure. So that's my dog, though. That's my right hand man. Like, that's my dog. That's the realest nigga I ever met in my life. So while he would do time, and one of his longest bids was seven years. Yes. Like While he would do time, your grandfather would step up to the plate. Yeah, for sure. My granddad was there. And he was there too, you feel me? And while he was gone, this probably was my best friend, my granddad, my papa. I love him. Oh, God. Do you know what kind of cancer it was? Mm, I don't remember. I think it was his liver. And did they find it too late? I don't know. I know I wouldn't have seen it right before he died. But the day they died, I seen him. I came in the house and seen him. The hospital, like when you when you got cancer and shit, when you got certain like certain type of cancer, they have somebody come out and see you and shit. I don't know if my dad was locked up then. He might have been locked up. He might not have been. I don't remember. I remember he had a bed in the living room, him and my grandma was there. My mom came over there, my mom came, and she was like, your granddad, he might have a couple of days, so you better come see him. He might, he might have a day, you better come see him. So I came over there and seen him. And he loved me too, though. He looked at me like a son. He looked at me like more of a son than like a lot of other people too. Like, even though he loved his, Everybody, you feel me? But he loved me like I was with him, like riding around in the car with him because that was like my father figure, you feel me? And I was young too, so you know how old, fe old folks be when they got the younger person with them. So I had came and seen him. My mom was like, You might have a couple of days a day to live. So I pulled up. Me and like two of my own, but my homeboys sitting in the car, they went on nothing like that. But we were young, we had some whole other shit going on up the road. So I said like, even though I'm from Greco, we be in Greenville and Lyons and shit too. But they pulled up. And I went in the house, I remember going in the house and seeing him. And he told me like, like he knew he was gonna die. He knew he was gonna die, so he told me like, even though you know I'm about to die, I love you just like you was my son, Blase Blase. He told me, like, I love you just like a son, too. I want you to know that. And he had his own little business. He was starting this shit. So he was just telling me, like, everything, even though I ain't a part of that. I don't even want to do too much talking about that. But he just told me, like, everything I got going on, you, you. But for sure, I know he loved me just like he loved his son, though. The way he explained it to me, you feel me? And like right after that, like not too long after that, he died. And I just remember going outside, punching the wild for like a long ass time. My own boy grabbed me up. And we went and did some dumb shit after that. They went with me, my homeboy, my dogs. 
my real partners. They went with me, did some dumb shit. They shouldn't did, but you know. My dog, some stupid shit. Nothing like that, but my dog. And you don't remember what age you were or what grade when this happened? Yeah, nah, but my memory is so fucked up. It went it went that long ago. It was I was young. I ain't old now, nah, I ain't young, but You're twenty two now. Yeah. I don't know, I probably was six, fifteen I don't know. I was young. I'm getting old. I'm black and old. <laughs> How were you notified he finally passed? Do you remember that? I was, I, I, I was, I think I was there. I think that's what I was telling you. Like, I went outside punching on the wall. It was that fast. Like he called me, telling me he's not gonna live long. So, I mean, I came in, but a lot of people ain't know that. A lot of people just knew my daddy was in jail, and they know my mom, my mom. I know what me and my mom had going on, but a lot of people ain't know that he was like my daddy too. He was really like my daddy. Cause every big he looked out for me and my mom. Even though that's my mama daddy, he really was like my dad too. Even though my dad kind of like, my dad probably the realest nigga from where I'm from. And there's no doubt about it. There's nobody not gonna say no different or nothing. Like no nigga from my hood gonna say no different. My dad, real street nigga, he is solid, 100%. My granddad, solid, he stood up, and you feel me? Looked out for him. But like, when he passed, like, I think I was there. I remember, all I remember was going out there and punching on the damn tree for about a damn hour. And everybody came out, I was crying and shit. Grabbed me, snatched me up, trying to get me going. My homeboy finally got the one got me. They ain't made me happy, but they helped me, you feel me? I ain't feel better.